Okay, show of hands, who has uh, servers in production that are not Linux? I can't help you, so <laughs> it's not for you. Okay, so I'm going to uh, talk about Top, and I've got a cheat sheet here. Um, top is my first tool to go to whenever I'm trying to debug what's going on, see the current state of the system, anything. So we first started up. It's basically uh, hard to read, you know, it's hard to see what's going on. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use some of the various commands that uh, you, you can uh, use inside of it. Um, first thing I do is color code it so that, you know, you can see what column you have sorted. Um, next thing I always end up doing is, because usually my programs are the ones taking up all the memory, I usually sort by virtual column so I can see that first. I'm not currently running anything, so I'll, I'll go ahead and start something up here. Maybe two threads was too much. <laughs> there we go. So back to where we were. Okay, so there's my Java program running two threads and they're flying. So there's a lot else on the screen that I don't really care about so much. So the first thing I want to do is I only want to see my processes because I usually run the whole box. Um, next thing I like to do sometimes is to see the individual threads and see what's actually going on. Um, you can show individual threads, and in a moment when it catches up, you'll see that each one of the threads gets its own PID. Uh, Java runs a lot of threads, if you all didn't know. Okay, there we go. Uh, so there are my two threads running full tilt, and all the other PIDs on the system. Um, we can also see by running a, a command, we can see the different uh, commands that are actually being executed. Um, sometimes you want to collapse them all back down. So you see the CPU percentage right now is more than 100%. Sometimes that confuses people that you might have more than one CPU in a box. So to uh, change that, you can run uh, iris mode off, and it'll give you a percentage of the entire CPU as opposed to 100% times however many you got. Um, let's see, what else can you do? Oh, if you want to see the individual CPUs and what they're actually doing. Um, the US is the user percentage, system, nice, idle, weight, um, high, SI. Those two are usually not registered all that often. And steel, which is the last one, is only occurs on virtual environments if the hypervisor implements it. So not all that useful. The load factors are something to keep in mind. Um, that's load of one minute, five minutes, and 15 minutes on most machines. Um, that's the total number of processes running and waiting in that time period. Uh, number of users online, how long it's been online. Um, the memory is uh, total memory, used memory, free memory, buffers, uh, then the swap. Um, I recommend if you're running Linux and you're running Java, turn the swap off. Turn it off. You don't need swap. If you're swapping, it's not going to work anyway. <laughs> um, and caching. So anybody have any, uh, any, any questions on, on what other neat things you can do with top? Oh, and after you spent five minutes trying to get it the right way, the way you want to see it forever, you can write it out to a file, and so the next time you come back in, well, it mostly goes back to the way you want it. It doesn't re remember the user that you wanted to see, but it remembers everything else. So that's all I got. If you want to start debugging your system, start here on Linux. If you are not on Linux, I'm sorry. Yeah, not <laughs> no, sorry. If it goes beyond this, it's usually um, broken, and I usually like start over. <laughs> That's all I got. Anybody got any questions? <laughs>